You had to lick this. Yes, it's true. Back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, I was on a lot of different kinds of cruise, trail cruise, fire cruise, fish survey cruise in the Redwood region. And it was a tradition on a lot of those crews to lick a banana slug when you came on the crew and you had to do it in front of everybody. It was like a tradition to welcome you to the crew. And it couldn't be just like a little, it couldn't be like a little lick. It had to be a uh, lick. After you lick it, your tongue gets all numb and you end up talking like this. Then everybody would laugh at you and you'd be welcomed on the crew. Then around like 2010, this rumor started spreading that someone had licked a banana slug and got bacteria and parasites and it caused like muscle spasms and contractions in their face and their face got permanently stuck like this. So we don't lick slugs no more. I don't know if those rumors are true, but don't lick anything you pick up off the ground, please. That slime is a predator defense mechanism, that slime, because a lot of, a lot of predators will bite a banana slug and they'll be like, but not sharp-tailed snakes. They're like one of the main predators, banana slugs. And so say like this is their mouth, they got their teeth set backwards, that way they can bite onto the slug and the slug can't slime and escape. But the slime does pretty well against other types of predators. After carefully studying the slime, some scientists who we'll call slimeologist created a new type of medical glue from the slime that can bond bloody and moving tissue, which helps doctors greatly in dealing with traumatic injuries. Thanks for helping us, banana slug. The banana slug is the second largest terrestrial slug and it can get as big as 10 inches, but they can't outrun anything. In fact, banana slugs are one of the slowest animals on earth. They can move about six and a half inches per minute. So how many miles per hour is that? It's no miles per hour. It's like 32 and a half feet per hour. It would take a banana slug an hour to travel the distance of a standard school bus. Banana slugs eat all kinds of things, including dead plants, live plants, and doo-doo. Seriously, there's one eating some doo-doo right now. So that means their breath smells like, ooh, no, no, no. But they don't have bad breath because they don't breathe through their mouth. They breathe through that hole right there. It's a lung hole and it doesn't smell like, oh, oh, maybe it does. They are male and female at the same time, so their pronouns are they and them, okay? I'm gonna let you look up the fascinating world of banana slug reproduction on your own. I'll just give you a hint, it doesn't grow back. If you wanna learn how those of us at Redwood Rising are helping to restore banana slug habitat and many other Redwood forest denizens habitat, go to redwoodsrising.org. Redwoodsrising.org and feel free to donate while you're there.